Hi students, so my name is Satish Shetty from AJ Engineering College, Mango. Today we'll discuss the two uh, uh, devoid of uh, what we call saturated zone, that is called zone of saturation. In between the air is filled with, uh, uh, air voids is filled with uh, full of air, that is called zone of aeration. Below that we can find zone of saturation. The uh, water, uh, air voids is filled with full of water, that is called zone of saturation. And also here one of uh, small uh, area, like the small area extent, one table water collecting is a very small content that is called perched water table. Below that the water table impervious layer, layer is there. So that is called a perched water table. Suppose so we, we can see in the diagram uh, a small portion water collecting that is a perched water table. Here we should uh, bear in mind uh, impervious layer is the bottom side uh, you can see that black color uh, that is called uh, uh, localized impervious impervious layer you can call it as the localized impervious as a very limited area extent and uh, therefore the amount of groundwater stored uh, in a perched uh, aquifer uh, also limited um, and, uh, and therefore it is uh, available uh, only for a small period of time and of course uh, because above the what uh, above the perched water table zone of aeration is there, below the perched water table zone of saturation and uh, it also to one of the localized water impervious surface or bottom is called localized unconventional aquifer that is that that's what the perched aquifer represents it it forms a third types of aquifers last uh, uh, what we can say aquifer. last type of aquifer is the uh, uh, i'm going to discuss uh, here uh, leaky aquifer is there more aquifer is there and that uh, is not represented here uh, uh, given in the notes this one uh, aquifer is there that name is uh, what is a leaky aquifer or uh, we can call it as that one semi confined aquifers this detail uh, is there in uh, notes or uh, uh, internet what is leaky aquifer and semi confined it has a uh, it is a confined aquifer. Its only difference is uh, uh, one of the layers, either the either the bottom layer, uh, uh, you can say that one. The leaky aquifer is that one. Is a semi-confined aquifer. Uh, it is uh, only that to, to, to what we can say the changes will happen in uh, the bottom aquifer of the times so we can uh, in this scales uh, top layer the bottom layer and top layer is there the two layers are impervious layer because this is uh, confined confined between the two layers the leaky aquifers as i do it is also confined aquifer confined equipment said it is confined with two impervious layer the bottom layer in says there also there and uh, top layer is impermeable top layer impermeable semi permeable layer it's so, confined means the between its uh, layer between the impermeable uh, top layer but we can just uh, so the water hold in between that two impermeable layers the semi permeable bottom layer what is constrained what to contain that is called uh, in leaky aquifers and we can call it as the name is uh, acute hard also for this one what do we mean by acute hard This is uh, we can call it as leaky aquifer. So one top layer is uh, presenting impermeable top layer, and bottom is semi impermeable bottom layer. That is called leaky aquifer. Uh, and also here uh, we can say that uh, the top layer is semi permeable, and bottom layer is impermeable layer. That is also one case is there in the leaky leaky aquifer. We can say that the bottom layer is semi permeable, top layer is impermeable. There is also one chance, and also one chance is that top layer is semi permeable, bottom layer is impermeable. That is, uh, that is uh, the example for leaky aquifer, as we discussed before. And uh, 
the storage coefficient we can say is the volume of uh, groundwater that can aquifer releases or uh, uh, absorbs uh, per unit surface area or per unit change in height. That is called storage uh, uh, coefficient. So it is a unitless actually. Generally, it is represent the ratio of two volumes. Unfined aquifers. Uh, generally for the, the store activity it will be in the range of 0 0.0005 so we can say the 5 to 10 to the power minus 5 and uh, we can say that the 5 into 5 into 10 to the power minus 3. in that difference uh, the store activity is generally for confined aquifer 5 to the power minus 3 and 5 to the power minus 2 in that range so the common aquifer is very much depends upon this parameter storage coefficient transmittivity and uh, storage coefficient also considered one of the three important uh, parameters of the aquifer uh, other parameters hydraulic conductivity permeability and transmittivity which of course we will discuss uh, sometimes later in this lecture. So now we will uh, discuss a little bit of water. Uh, what you can say? Low water basins and uh, and springs. What do you Basins and springs. Uh, just like for area of uh, surface of the water which holds water, there will be specific uh, drainage. So, in this case, uh, this case, groundwater basin is also some kind of uh, physical entity which has a certain uh, aerial extent, and uh, this uh, and this groundwater basin does consist of. Uh, one large aquifer as well as uh, number of small aquifers just like uh, surface water basin uh, there will be main uh, pores uh, uh, main stream channels main pores and uh, and it is there will be number of uh, um, other courses so in, so in this case also in case of groundwater there will be main aquifer and uh, uh, you can say and number of uh, interrelated aquifers. Uh, groundwater basins we may uh, define it as a hydrologic or a hydrogeologic unit um, containing a a large aquifer and, and we can say that and a number of a hydrologic unit containing large aquifer and a number of other interconnected aquifers the water uh, basins uh, again I will repeat uh, that the hydrologic units contain large aquifer and number of other interconnect interconnected aquifers. So like this surface uh, water basins uh, or catchments uh, which is uh, also referred to as watershed, uh, groundwater basins also has uh, storage and uh, Transport, groundwater transport, both are uh, involved, and uh, many times uh, uh, this uh, groundwater basins consist of a large uh, area, aerial extent, uh, uh, as well as depth, which can uh, yield significant amount of groundwater. Now let us come comes to springs. 
ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ವಾಟರ್ ಫಿಶಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಜನರಲಿ ನೋನ್ ಐಸ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದೆನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ we can see in generally when we are digging the uh, wells in that time the water will come out from the pores of the soil it is called uh, springs uh, it is concentrated discharge of ground water appearing uh, uh, at the uh, ground surface things are concerned with such a ground water appearing ground surface as a um, current power from flowing water. I will repeat once again. Springs are concentrated, uh, concentrated discharge of ground water appearing at ground surface as a current of flowing water. Here we can say springs, uh, it is uh, basically at the ground surface. It represents the uh, interface and uh, upstream of the springs. water uh, is in uh, one water form the ocean of the spring water is in uh, water comes from the earth so it is uh, surface water from surface water and these springs may be different uh, types such as uh, um, let's say that types of spring in spring also different types of spring. i hope you understand what in spring springs are what to come up from the soil when we are digging so that is general we can say that and of course the springs water may come come out as a current either in the normal temperature or it may come out from the from the current of not higher temperature so like this so this spring can be either a normal water spring or hot water spring so in this normal water spring this temperature is a normal temperature and when which are generally referred to as spring simply springs this is normal temperature springs the type of the type of spring size and normal temperature spring normal temperature spring various types of the springs is that let us discuss a few of them among the among the normal temperature springs and one is we can say that one depression spring d e p r e s s i o n springs and, uh, and uh, followed by contact spring and uh, and uh, followed by uh, artesian springs and uh, spring is the artesian uh, we can say the art or um, or or we can say the fracture artesian spring then there is a tubular spring this is the these are uh, the four important types of springs this one it is a different types of springs it's all comes in 